welcome to my living room and dining room tour. So I'm just gonna go in uh, with all the details of where everything's from and a closer look of everything. So this is what you see when you first walk in. So we'll just start off with this side. So here we have a little Ikea basket. I absolutely love this basket. I love the pattern on it and it's so big, it holds so much. So in here I just store my blankets, my prayer mats and my prayer buyer as well. Then if you go here, I've got this lovely olive plant from Amazon. It's a faux one and I absolutely love the fact that it's fake so I can't kill it. Um, and it looks so realistic, I just love it. And I put it in this little white pot over here as well. And then this is a slight overview of this section. So my TV stand is from Wayfair, but I actually DIY'd it. So it's not this exact color. So this isn't the exact color that actually came on the website. It was really hard finding one that actually fit this TV because it's quite big. Um, but I did paint it and then change the handles as well. And then here's just the big TV. It's so nice having such a big TV. Um, and then in these little sections, I've just got a basket that fits perfectly of little bits and then the PS5. And then here, I've just got this little seat from Amazon. It's like a floor cushion. Um, it's really cute and it's perfect for like when there's too many guests, so there's other space. The curtains, these are from Ikea. So if you watch my bedroom tour, you'll have seen that I changed the curtains that the flat came with. I absolutely love these ones. They're very sheer though, um, but it just makes the room feel super airy. This little ladder chef I got from b and I absolutely love it. Um, I love the wood and white tones, it's totally my aesthetic. Um, it's just so nice for a little bit of extra room for decoration and I do tend to change it depending on the season. So I'll just go through a very quick overview of where things are. So this vase I got from Primark. Um, it was only six pounds, which was so good. Um, so these dried flowers are by a small business, so I'll tag it in the caption, in the description. Um, this little candle was also by a small business, um, but I think you can actually get them anywhere. They're very popular. This little, um, I don't really know what this is. I think it's a candle holder, but I got this from b and It was two pounds. I absolutely love the uh, return on it. And then if you go down here, so I've got these books from, I think this is not a book. It's like a big book box thing. I got that from AliExpress. One of these little books from Charity Store, and I got this little pot from H&M and that holds my wax melts. This little holder is from Flying Tiger. I got years ago, I think it's like 50p. Then I have this little ornament from H&M Home. This was a piece from Flying Tiger. I think I got it for like one pound and then I just painted it and or spray painted it. And then just some other decor here, some books and vases and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I really like it and I love being able to change out for the season. The lamp at the back is from Ikea. I actually had a silver one to start off with, but I didn't like the fact it was silver because obviously my aesthetic is gold. Um, so that's from Ikea. And the lamp shade is from Donnell. Um, this little photo artwork is from Photo Wall Sweden, I believe. I absolutely love it. It's kind of like, it gives the effect that it's paint, um, but it's completely like flat, if that makes sense. So it's like a printed on paint, but um, yeah, I think it's very cool, very abstract, and it really just adds something to this space. Now, this is just a full overview of my living room. I get tons of questions about where so many things are from. Um, so I'll just start off with the main pieces, which is the sofa is from Argos. It's a really great starter sofa. So I did get it when I first moved in. It, was, it came in so quickly. It actually pulls that into bed and this part also has storage. So it's a really great starter sofa. If you're a bit more on a budget, um, the quality it's good, it's not amazing, but um, I think for your first sofa, it's actually really good. This rug, I just changed out quite recently. So this one is from B&Q. My last one was a lot bigger, it was from H&M, um, but it just was got completely destroyed, so I changed it. This table is from Amazon Home. I think it's discontinued though. Um, it's beautiful, however, glass is so hard to maintain. It constantly gets dirty, so honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Then I've just got this catch-all tray, which is from H&M, with just like, remotes and candle stuff and all that stuff. It's really nice to have that just for a catch-all. I had so many cushions on this sofa. This is literally what remained from a huge clear out. So this still looks like there's quite a few, but honestly, like compared to what it was before, this is a huge improvement. So I'll go very quickly over where everything is from. So the back cushion is from Next. The front cushion is from Primark. I absolutely love these. They're like linen um, covers. They were like two pounds. And compared to H&M, which is usually like eight pounds a cushion, I thought that was a really good bargain. The back, the more orangey one is from Morocco. I got it from the Souks. 
this little stripey one I think was from Primark as well. I love the stripes. This um, this one is a cover. It's from Sheen, I think. I got it years ago. Um, this one is from H&M. The back one is from H&M. And the same Primark one there again. And then I have a little throw on the side, which is from Dusk. And that is just basically what this little cozy area is. I love the fact that I did split up the room. It makes it so much more cozier. And then I just have a little side table near the sofa um, with just some random candles, tissues, and all that kind of stuff. The side table is from B&Q. And then this little round jute rug is from Dunelm. The best thing I did was add this humongous mirror. I feel like it's opened up the space so much. It's extremely heavy, but this is from Mason Melody, I think the name is, the company is called. Um, it's just so great to have a huge open mirror like this. I can take my other pictures. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. And I love the fact that the edging is gold. Then if we go this way, we'll see what's Mika doing. He literally scratches everything, honestly. Like if you can see, this is what he's done to the sofa. I, I just have given up now, so he constantly just goes here and scratches it. I feel like every cat owner will have the same experience. Um, but now he's moved on to this, so I don't know. He's very spoiled. So we'll start off with a little boring bit. So here is Mika's little, I don't know what his, his little bed or whatever it is, his little house, I call it. And then here, it, here is his water. So he actually did have a water fountain. Um, it broke, so um, I've been meaning to get a new one, but for now I just put a bowl and another <laughs> bowl as well, just in case. Eventually going to change it into a water fountain again. Then I just have my Dyson stand on here with my Dyson. Um, I did really want to like move the ladder so it blocked it completely so it wasn't on show but it looked really weird so I've just left it out. And then I've got this little towel ladder from Aldi. Not Aldi, B&M, B&M. It was £10 and I've just got a bunch of um, cream blankets on it. This is an overview of the dining room section and you can see where it kind of crosses over from living room into dining room. It is quite a nice spacious room so I love the fact that I did divide it so it wasn't just one huge living room. Although we don't really use this dining room as often, it's so nice when guests come over. I use it a lot for filming content as well. So we'll start off with the rug. So this rug is from Cocoon Rugs. Um, it's so lovely. I absolutely love the patterns on it and it really helped divide the space and give the dining room like its own space. Without the rug, it kind of all looked a bit weird, but the rug just really solidified the room. So yeah, absolutely love it. And it's definitely quite dirty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over where everything is from in the dining room. So this bench is from Ikea and I absolutely love it. It is the most beautiful bench I've seen it personally. And for the price, it was so good. I think it was under hundred pounds or something. And a lot of benches I saw were way more expensive. Um, yeah, I love it. And it actually surprisingly holds a lot of people as well. I've always wanted a bench for my dining room table. And then on top of the bench, I've just got this little shaggy rug to make it more comfortable. This table is also from Ikea. I love the light wood on it. I love the legs. It was, it was just perfect for this space, honestly. Although every single furniture piece is miss and match, I do think it has come together really nicely. So these chairs, my dining room chairs, they're not actually dining room chairs. They are an outdoor set, like an outdoor seating set that I got from beautify.com. And I bought it from my last place where I had a balcony and they were so great for the balcony. But when we moved to this place, it didn't actually, had a, it didn't actually have a balcony. And I really did not want to get rid of them. So I thought I'd clean them up and then use them as dining room chairs. And honestly, it's come in so handy. It saved me money and I think it goes so well in this space. So just a quick overview of what's on the dining room table. So I've got this runner from The White Company. It's really, really beautiful. I do need to steam it, I know. Um, and then I've got these placemats. These were from Asda, I think. Two for like one pound or two for three pounds or something. I really like the jute and the light color of it. And then I've got these candle holders and these were from H&M Home. And I've just got some squiggly, I don't know what it is, like some squiggly candles on it, which I think were from Primark. So this lovely vase is from the White Company as well. It's super, super large and it's very beautiful. And then this faux flower arrangement is also from the White Company. These cushions that are on the dining room chairs are from b and I absolutely love the pattern on it. I did just recently give this dining room 
airy, a bit of a refresh. Um, I just wanted to feel a lot more airy before I had a lot of kind of boho and beiges items and I just kind of wanted to feel really white and airy and so a few small changes really, really did that and I love it so much more now. And then for the last section of my room, we have this. So um, when I just first got the dining room table, this area felt a bit empty. So I really thought it'd be so useful if I got a sideboard in here for storage and other bits. And um, so I'll just start off with the top. First thing I put up is this mirror from HomeSense. I absolutely love it. Round mirrors with the gold edging is just my cup of tea. I absolutely love it. Um, and then if we go on to this section, I've got this vase from H&M with a faux floral arrangement from b &Q. If I'm honest, this specific sideboard is a dumping ground. It's where all my junk, all my boxes, all my everything goes until I need to sort it out. So usually, although there is decor on this, it doesn't stay like this ever honestly and um, so I just quickly tidy it out for the video so this little tray is from Primark the little t uh, tea light holder is from H&M this decor piece was from TK Maxx and I just painted it it was originally blue um, and then I just have some books on there and then this, this beaded decoration and then on here I've just got this vase from TK Maxx this little one from H&M and this from Cherries and then the sideboard is from JYSK. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, just or something. But it was a, such an affordable piece. I was really surprised because rattan big sideboards tend to be quite expensive. Um, but this was just so beautiful. And that is my complete dining room and living room tour. I really hope you got some inspiration if you live in a rental. Honestly, this is my favorite, favorite room in the entire flat. And I'm so happy with how it came out. It makes me feel so calm and I could just sit here all day. I wanted to share this little acrylic birdhouse I got as well. So I got this acrylic birdhouse from Amazon and I put some bird seats in it hoping that birds would come so Mika can watch them from the window. Unfortunately it has and hasn't worked because birds do come but Mika scares them off so quickly that I think they're too scared to return. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.